Winter is here, as you can see by the snow all around me, and I am going to embrace these colder months with some campfire cooking. So I have some meals, some drinks, and things that are just going to warm you up and that you can cook around the campfire. So let's dive right in. First up, we're gonna make some Dutch oven chili, and this needs to cook for the longest, so we're gonna get that going first with the Dutch oven. Look at this, it's already warming me right up. <laughs> I'm gonna start by browning the meat and the veggies and just get everything in the pot and let this simmer away for a couple hours. So I've gotten my beef in the Dutch oven and I have it really hot. I wanna brown the beef first, it just adds so much more flavor. And then the nice thing about chili is you just kind of dump everything in the Dutch oven and let it cook. So it's really, really easy. And I'm already having so much fun out here. This is really just one of my favorite ways to enjoy the colder weather because it is pretty cold out, but once you're around the fire and stuff, it's, it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> So I have my spices are mixing in there. It smells so good. I'm gonna add a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of these diced green chilies. That's a recommendation by my dad. So my dad is hopefully gonna find us out here later today and just enjoy the fire and have some chili with us. But he's kind of picky when it comes to chili. You call this chili? I'm not gonna lie, between you and me, I'm a little bit nervous that he's gonna like this one. And then this is a fire roasted diced tomatoes is going in there as well. So anyway, hopefully my dad will like this, but I'm gonna mix all this together. I can add a little bit of beef broth, thin it out. So I'm using a 10 inch Dutch oven right now. Honestly, I normally would use a 12 inch for this. So this is gonna be a little bit, a little bit tight here. Give that a mix. We have almost everything in there. It's time for, if I had a secret ingredient in my chili, this would be it. And it is <laughs> dark chocolate. So this is 85% and dark chocolate just, it, it does kind of have a bit of a bitterness. <laughs> uh, it's not sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. There we go. <laughs> the dark chocolate is not adding sweetness to it. It is just adding a nice, I think just a good depth of flavor. And so I'm just gonna put this right in there and let this melt. I'm going to do half this bar. All right, so hopefully I didn't get any foil in there. So the chocolate is gonna melt in here. I have all my ingredients in there. I'm gonna cover my chili and bring this to a boil, maybe give it one more mix and then turn turn the heat down, <laughs> make the fire less hot and let it simmer. And we're gonna cook this for at least an hour. When I'm at home making chili, I'll do it for several hours. So the longer you can do it, the better it's going to be. Oh, I think that looks so good already. Now, while our chili is cooking, I'm going to make my favorite hot cocoa recipe to warm us up while we're hanging out. And uh, to do that, we just need some whole milk. I have some cocoa powder. And to sweeten this, I'm going to use maple syrup because I do not like hot cocoa that is like overly sweet. And I feel like maple syrup just adds a really nice flavor and it's not too much for me. And then my special little twist is fresh rosemary. And I'm gonna put, whoa, not this whole thing, but <laughs> some of this rosemary in there and cook it all together. And I just love the rosemary. I think it just adds such a nice earthiness to the hot cocoa and just makes it a little bit different. Let's get this in here. I have about two cups of whole milk here. Pour that right in there. This is enough for me and my cameraman, Nick. <laughs> so we got some milk and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and three tablespoons of syrup if I can open this. Oh my God. Ah, I don't know. 
know if it's like frozen. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Three tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two, three. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit extra. Last thing I'm gonna do is add a sprig of rosemary. These are huge pieces. Don't quite need that. So something like this, put that right in their hole and just gently mix this. Huge, huge warning here. This is going to boil up like very quickly. So just keep stirring it and be prepared. I should have this on to just move it away from the heat because you don't want it to bubble over obviously. So just be warned that that can happen very quickly. You can use honey instead of maple syrup. And if you don't have either, you also can just use sugar. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this heat up. And then when I serve this, I'm gonna remove the rosemary, but it just kind of boiling in here for a couple minutes is enough to sort of infuse the hot chocolate with that wonderful flavor. Set that aside over here and remove my rosemary. Woo. <laughs> there you go. Let's give it a try. Mm, that is so good. It's not overly sweet. I love the earthy rosemary flavor. It just goes so well with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Next up we have some dessert and for dessert today we're doing classic baked apples. So I have some green apples here and you have probably had this. This dessert really reminds me of my childhood. I remember my mom making this and at home I made this crumble mix. So this has oats, brown sugar, and pecans. We're actually doing a pecan salted caramel baked apple. And so I mix this all at home and I'm going to add some butter to it and that's what's going to stuff our apples and then we're going to bake them in the campfire coals. So it's gonna be so good after the chili. So let's get going on that. The first thing I wanna do is actually core my apples and make them uh, easy for me to stuff. So I'm just gonna cut the very top off. And then this is probably the hardest part of the whole process is sort of figuring out how to core it uh, without getting all the way through to the bottom. So I'm gonna attempt that. I like to get a good amount open there to get all the stuffing in. Last little thing I gotta do is add some butter to my crumble mix. And this is gonna be a bit of a challenge today because ideally you want your butter to be softened, but it is pretty cold out here. So that's not really the case, but I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of butter and I'm just gonna try to mash it like this. Let's see if this works today. <laughs> you just wanna kinda pinch the butter into the oats until, come on, a little crumble forms. I just don't wanna get my hands in here, which is what I normally do, because then I'm gonna have to wash them and it's gonna be so cold to get my hands wet right now, so. It's just not, it's not working like I hoped it would. Oh, here we go. That actually worked all right. It's a good crumble in here. So I'm just going to spoon it into my apple. Yeah, and I like to really load it up. <laughs> that looks good. So 
Now you can cook these in a Dutch oven, but I didn't want to pack two Dutch ovens today and I knew that one would have the chili in it. So I'm gonna actually cook these over the campfire coals. To do that, I'm gonna wrap them in parchment paper first and then two layers of aluminum foil. So parchment paper is going to be the first layer. I like to pinch and roll at the top. Fairly doable with this piece. <laughs> And then this, I'm going to very gently cook over the campfire coals and it's just gonna steam in there and the apple's gonna get soft. There we go. So I'm gonna actually wait to put my apples on the fire. I wanna time it so that when we're actually eating the chili, this can be cooking and then everything will be ready at a good time. Chili has been simmering for an hour. I'm gonna check on it right now. Let's see. Yes, that smells amazing. You may have noticed that I did not put any beans in my chili and that's because real chili doesn't have any beans. <laughs> but of course, if you want to put them in there, you can put a, a can, I would say of kidney beans, I think would be good in there. But I just don't really like beans that much. I don't think they add anything to the chili. So I don't put them in my chili. Time to eat. I'm so excited for this. I'm pretty cold, so something warm is gonna be amazing. I don't have a good serving bowl. And then of course we need some toppings. So I have some shredded cheddar cheese. Save some in case my dad comes. <laughs> Sour cream, of course. And I cut up some green onions. Voila. Ooh, that looks good. Look at this. I am pumped to dive into this. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That is comfort in a bowl right here. Mm. Now for my apple, I am going to just, I'm kind of pulling some of these coals aside and I'm gonna put this right on some coals and rotate it pretty frequently because I don't want it to, to burn, obviously. And this is gonna take anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how big your apple is and you know how hot your coals are. <laughs> so just keep an eye on it. The longer you cook it, the mushier that it's going to get. Some people will like it mushier, but I like it to be a tad firmer. So anyway, that's just gonna cook while we hang out and enjoy the fire. My dad found <laughs> us here in the forest. I heard there was a good meal to be had. <laughs> I, I was kind of saying that I'm a little nervous for you to try my chili because you're you're kind of you're kind of picky about your I'm chili. I'm very picky about chili. Yeah, so we'll get you a bowl. Before they dip the scoop out of the chili, the person put a whole like a teaspoon of salt oh. and then just covered it with a little bit of chili and then gave it to their boyfriend <laughs> and his reaction as bad as it tasted he would not show a bad reaction <laughs> he said oh this is pretty good well it's funny because like i always joke the second nick takes a bite of anything i've made i'm like is it good is it good yeah, is it well, good course. do you like it of course well it looks good like totally from scratch you just started with raw ingredients and put them all in yep that episode of The Office where he's bringing the chili in. <laughs> oh, it's real good. It's real good. You're joking. Seriously? This, you call this chili? Go home. <laughs> Not until I finish my chili. <laughs> oh, it's good. 
Really good. So anyways, the office, what was going on? Oh yeah, Kevin, he comes in, <laughs> he has a pot of chili this big, and he comes in and he like <laughs> makes the chili, takes them all night or whatever, and then he spills it all over the floor <laughs> in the office, and he tries to like scrape it in sweet. the pot. <laughs> I always think about that camping like you just couldn't do like, that here. Yeah, you would have pine needles. Oh god, and got bears. It'd be a disaster. My secret ingredient is dark chocolate. There's dark chocolate. Oh in there. really? I love dark chocolate. So you can yeah. Put that in well, it's, you like, think... it's kind of like bacon. Bacon, dark chocolate. You can put it on anything. Yeah, pretty much. This is really good. Warming I might, you have, up. A, I might have a second bowl. And when like Nick goes back for seconds or thirds of something, Nick I'm always like... goes back for seconds. <laughs> when he does, I'm like, okay, I, I thought... nailed that. My apple is done get that. I made some homemade salted caramel sauce that then got so cold that it was too firm so I had to warm it up <laughs> so that I could drizzle this on there. And unwrap this. Oh yeah! The apple is definitely soft you can see but it's still gonna have a bit of a bite to it. Now I'm gonna add my salted caramel sauce. You can just, you know, buy caramel sauce if you want to. I just love to make homemade. And I'm just going to try my best to drizzle this on here. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Holy cow, this is great. Mm -hmm. You have cinnamon in here? Apple pie spice. Wow, Nick's not gonna get anything. <laughs> there you have it, some really delicious, warming, cozy meals for the campfire for these colder months outdoors. Make sure to check out this playlist here <laughs> next for some more camping food ideas and I will see you over there.